the subjects of the four nominated programs are vastly different and each present their own challenges to shoot. Uh, but the nominees have created exceptional work. So let's take a look. In the no man's land of the front line, sniper fire and mortar attacks are still a daily occurrence. Marcel Metal Siphon, children on the front line. <laughs> تلاقي هذا كان كامش النت وعم يمشي دخل عم تقب قناص من دون ما يعرف وهو ما هو قصة ما قماش عني وضربه The perfect launch Camera team, life story, first steps And a controlled drop This is as good a descent as it's possible to make of the execution of 234 people drew applause. I think Americans understand justice. Ben Anthony, Luke Menges, life and death row, issue. execution. But in the state of Texas, you kill one of our children, you kill a police officer, you are involved with another crime and you kill one of our citizens. You will face the ultimate justice and that is you will be executed. If people are amenable to having their portrait made, I put up a studio tent. Richard Jones, Max Hug Williams, Harry Hook, photographing Africa. It's like a Victorian studio portrait. He wouldn't need one of those neck braces to keep him still. Absolutely like a statue. Fantastic mosaic in a frisana. Huh? <laughs> and the BAFTA goes to uh, Marcel Metal Siphon for Children on the Frontline Dispatches. didn't expect this one. Thank you very much uh, to the Academy. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Chris. Thank you to all the big team I had supporting me, having all the, um, yeah, the, the possibility to give me uh, to do this film. Uh, I just came back actually to, from the family. I brought them to Germany. They do have a new life. I'm very happy about this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank well you. done. Um, absolutely beautiful, heart wrenching, uh, incredible film. And what was the hardest part of the process? Well, uh, to find the family. It was, uh, I, I started with Agony in Aleppo in 2013, and it started to become more and more dangerous. So I had a very small window to find the right children. I wanted to do a film about children. Doing so, you need the right children. So I found first the uh, Abu, the boy with the with the drums, yeah. and then I needed. I was trying to find girls, which is very difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was very lucky after a while to find uh, these three amazing girls. Yeah. Incredible. And the mother, actually. So yeah. it's very rare to to see women from this environment in Syria, which is. Quite and was it difficult to keep an emotional distance while you were filming? It was not while filming, it was, I think, more afterwards. Because mm -hmm. uh, I was obviously, it started to become so dangerous for them. Mm -hmm. uh, the father disappeared, uh, they might kill them, so I tried to get them out, okay. which uh, thankfully I, I, I did. So they're in, they're in Germany right now. Is there an image, a particular image that stays with you from the film? Um, yeah, I think the, the, the curtains, which are. Uh, in order not to be shot by the snipers, mm -hmm. this silent, empty streets, uh, the entire environment where I shot it. Uh, 
It was very, it was, it, I, it needed it in order to have a contrast to the crowded area I did the first part of the film, so. It's amazing because obviously it was such a, you know, emotive, upsetting piece in many ways, but absolutely beautiful. There was Thank like you. real beauty in the way that you shot it. It was, yeah, well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy your BAFTA.